Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I am going to show you how to edit images in Photoshop. So let me go ahead and pull in an image here. So I just pulled in an image and I'm going to press enter. So normally in Photoshop if you want to edit um, this image you might think to press the crop tool. But what happens when you press the crop tool is that it is going to make you crop the whole canvas instead of just the image that you want to crop. All right. So to get around that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image that I just pulled in, which is this one. I'm going to right click and from here you can do edit content. When you do edit content, it will bring it to a new tab. And from here, you can do um, crop to, and then you can crop it. Now, the problem with this is that for you to save this image back to the original format, you have to flatten it, which means um, you're going to make it permanent, and then you won't be able to come back and make changes to it. So if I click on control save, it's going to say I have to flatten the image first. So first I'm going to right click here and I'm going to do flatten image. And once I click save and then once I go back here, as you can see, um, this has been flattened. Now if I go back um, to this tab, when I try to make changes, as you can see, um, uh, the other parts of the image is gone because of that flattening that I did. So to get around that, um, you have to do something before you edit the content. So I'll go ahead and close this. I'll go ahead and close this. Um, no, don't save changes. And I'll go ahead and delete this image since I don't need it. I'll go ahead and bring it back in and this is the image and from here I'm going to right click and I'm going to do convert to smart object. So now that this has been converted to smart object and you know this is converted to smart object because you cannot see this small icon right here and from here then you right click again and then you do edit content. So from here, now you can edit content and you can save the changes back to the original um, file without making permanent changes. And let me show you what I mean. So I can click on this and I can edit this image. And this time when I do control save, it will say um, crop the image before save. I'm going to do crop. And just like that, it is saved. Now, if I go back to my original tab, as you can see right here, I've made changes without um, flattening the image completely. Now that I'm back here, I can expand this again and get back to my original image. I can um, pull this in and press enter, control save, go back here, and now the image has changed. So I'm able to crop this image. That's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.